Hi there, it's Casey Zeman here. I hope you're well. I'm excited to bring this video to you. One of the things that I focus on in my business more than probably anything else is the power of video. I've been doing video marketing for several years. So let's really quickly just dive right in and talk about why video. Why would you use video uh, as opposed to say other types of content or with other types of content? Well, let me just quickly ask you, what is one of the biggest problems we're faced with when we sell things like services or products or information products online. Well, I think the biggest problem or the biggest issue is building trust. Traditionally, we are able to shake someone's hand, look them straight in the eye, and you can't really do that on the web. However, video allows you to do that. It bridges that gap. So let me ask you, who are your favorite people online? Who would you literally buy anything from? So think about that for a second, and then let me ask you this. What was the common thread in those names that you were th just thinking of? Now, chances are those people that you might be thinking of, those people that you might buy products from, um, probably put videos out there and use the power of transparency marketing to connect on a real one-on-one -on -one level with their audience. All it takes is putting a video out there that helps someone with a problem, gives them a solution, shows them how a product works, puts themselves in front of the camera to connect on a very real level with someone, and that allows you to bridge that gap of impersonality. So the common thread in all of those names is video. So the sources of traffic and the attention span of customers has shrunk exponentially. And the trouble now is that people are ultra cautious of buying from people they don't know. Historically, it takes a customer coming back to a site at least, I'd say, seven times before they actually click on that buy now button. See, I, I kind of look at the sales cycle kind of like dating. How many dates do you think you have to go on before getting to really know someone? Customers want to feel trust and know the person they're going to be buying from. I mean, it's just like dating, just like any type of relationship. So if you want to be successful on the first date or get the sale within the first encounter, you need to build trust. And this is why I use video and YouTube for two reasons. One is to gain traffic and one is for keeping traffic. And the trust element comes in the keeping. But here's the cool thing about video. And I can't talk about video unless I talk about YouTube. You see, YouTube is the second largest search engine on the planet. It's not even a search engine. And there are 4 billion video views watched every 24 hours. So it's a tremendous marketplace for getting your videos first uploaded and then getting found. Because Google owns YouTube, you can get traffic coming back to your site from creating videos that engage and have clear and concise call to action in the videos that bring people back into your website, whether it's your landing page, whether it's a, your uh, website that talks about your services. No matter what, the goal is to create content to put out onto the web and drive that content back in. So when we're talking about gaining traffic, uh, I use both search engine optimization to get my content ranked on the web, okay? Remember, search engine optimization is what you can do to get your content found in the search results. And when we talk about the search results, clearly we're talking about Google. And because Google owns YouTube, your video content can get ranked much higher because here's something cool. Google said that they are now giving more priority to content that is engaged. And what is more engaged than video content? That's my question to you. What is more engaged than video content? Nothing. And a YouTube video can get comments on it. It can get likes. It can get um, shared everywhere. And the more that content is shared and liked and more engaged with, the easier it is to get ranked in the search engines because Google is prioritizing it to get ranked. So I put out content with video, put it up on YouTube, title, describe, and tag my videos in such a way so that now when someone types in a certain thing such as how to do Pilates at home, my video, if it's about doing Pilates at home, will now pop up in the search engines. And I'll show you that in a little second here. So that's one way of gaining traffic. The other, obviously, as I mentioned, is the engagement element of it.
because YouTube is a social platform. So it's the combination of both social and search combined. And as I mentioned, because YouTube is the second largest search engine on, on the planet, and it's not even a search engine, um, there are a lot of people searching for uh, video content. And it, let's say that your niche, your business, is about something specifically that you can help people with through either how-to videos or presentations or interviews, let's say. Well, that content can get ranked at a much faster rate than anywhere else. And people are not only searching on Google for that content, but they're also searching on YouTube as well. So, keeping traffic. How do we keep traffic and close that sales cycle gap? Well, this is where it's all about trust. You see, when we talk about keeping traffic, we're talking about providing good and usable content to keep your audience interested. You see, this builds trust. An example of this would be, say, a how-to video to help an audience with a problem. You see, if you teach and teach soundly, you will keep traffic. That means you'll keep an audience. The idea is that you not only tap into an audience, but you continue to follow up with that audience by giving them good content that they can digest and they see you as a resource that they want to come back to over and over again. By doing that, that's how you build a thriving community using the power of video, not only with getting found with video, but then driving that community member into your own marketing funnel, onto a landing page, into your subscriber list, then you can market to them. All you have to do is provide them value up front and they're willing to keep with you through the duration of your business. Here's some interesting stats that you should be aware of as to why video is so powerful. People are more likely to buy after watching a product video. In fact, 64 to 85% higher are the conversions for when someone can watch a video, understand a product, and then they'll purchase. In fact, people stay two minutes longer on average when they're engaged with a video. And the, the search results are 53% higher when you use a video to get ranking in Google. And not to mention there's offline impact as well. You see, there's an increase of 6% when you can have video and drive them to an offline store. This is really powerful stuff if you think about it.